there's this narrative in, in, our, in our country around when people talk about radical economic transformation. So, which personally I don't believe it. As a BMF, we believe that transformation basically by its very nature, it's, it's radical. So you don't need to radicalize it uh, than, than it already is. You know, so I made, uh, my, this is my, I think I need to patent this. So, so, so there's a, there's a, I, I normally say that the, uh, uh, the, 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 the governing party has sold us reformation, but they called it transformation. Uh, it is, it does, because 25 years almost, and it's a, it's a generation, eh? we have never experienced transformation, in my view. So, and the difference is that reformation is like a, a chameleon that changes the colors depending on the environment that it finds itself in. And, and, and transformation is a caterpillar that basically goes through a metamorphosis to become a butterfly. The end state of a butterfly and a caterpillar are two different things. So therefore, uh, by its very nature, transformation is uh, it's, 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 it's radical. And we are told that before you could have radical economic transformation, you need to have radical economic uh, 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 growth. Okay? But it's a, if you ask me, if you, okay, let me tell you if you don't know, it's a racist response to say, we don't want transformation. Let's have economic growth. And the truth is, under President Mbeki, we, this economy, GDP, was growing over 5 to around 6%. Okay? But still, there was no transformation. Still, there was no transformation. So, so there's no truth in the fact that we need to grow the economy in order for transformation to happen. Okay? So transformation, whether economy grows or not, is still not going to happen if we are managed by recovered races uh, in the economy in terms of unlocking changes for things to be able to happen. So that is the truth that we really need to, to, to tell. Then there's another narrative around that black people belongs, or, or government belongs to black people, or commerce and business belongs to white. You have seen that, and you've seen in consulting companies, how do we staff our, 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 our uh, how do we respond to our client's re requests? We send black people to government uh, uh, projects or accounts. And then, and then banking and, and financial services, it's for white people. Yeah. yeah. So I used to work for Accenture, by the way, and, and Accenture was not part of this, at least during my time. I, I, can't, I can't vouch for them now. Uh, so we refused to do, to do that. And, and we also said, we have a working time. I mean, government used to say, we start at 7. <laughs> okay, at Accenture, we start at 8. Okay, don't expect us to be here at 7. And then and, 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 and we can live wherever we want, whenever we want to live, and around those sort of things. I think these racial stereotypes need to be, to be fixed. You, you, we cannot be thought of black people that our problem is to resolve uh, government problems. So go deal with your own, own people. Uh, 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 as if like white people can't give uh, good solutions to the challenges that are faced by public sector or private owned entities. And, and, and so the, the, the other problem we have, which is that maybe the seventh issue I had there, I think I've skipped two, by the way, let's say fifth. So, so it's okay to use financial lenses in terms of how we dissect our issues. But I think we need to be aware that South Africa is different. We're different in South Africa. We need to understand that uh, there's a whole lot of people that have been excluded from the, from the freedom and, and democratic uh, dispensation dividends. And we need to worry about it as we, we, we transact. <music>